Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be Operation Bedrock number 107, the 107th episode of the Operation Bedrock series, where my friends and I, we're going to mine the entire world until there's nothing but Bedrock left, and my controller's messing up again, and we're going to mine it until there's nothing but Bedrock, except for the floor, of course, because we need something flat to walk on. So right now, I am by myself for this episode, so let's see if I can actually keep it up for 30 minutes. I really need more practice, I've been doing so much on the co-commentary or the group commentary is that it's easier honestly it's easier especially when all my friends are doing the talking and i just pitch in every now and then to keep up the discussion or to make fun of someone it's just just how it is pretty much that's easy to do but let's see if everything will go well for this episode and right now we are in the candy texture pack because every week is something new to bring up to the table of bringing a brand new texture pack for every new episode that's just how it's gonna be i don't want to stay with the default and if you guys want to see the default then you could stay tuned for the pc minecraft videos and right now i am working on the pixelmon series of of course on mbblock.org that is the server that i'm in but you're gonna have to download pixelmon mod of 3.1 1.1 and have the forge installer of 1.7.2 recommended not the latest but the recommended because when i tried the latest it didn't work but the recommended that's the one that actually worked it's strange how that does and how that works but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna argue with minecraft on the pc because i have no idea how any of that works so maybe i should make a video on how to install these mods and all the other stuff the only thing that i hate about installing is that you have to pretty much get an what's it called side software that pretty much allows you to download other files from the internet which i really don't want to install so my friends are the ones that actually install the software probably from me to fire which i would highly recommend even though the ads in itself really really kills me but it's better than downloading a side software for everything else that's just my opinion so the thing about media fire is that they have a lot of ads. Ad blocker may or may not work. I don't know. I never use ad blocker, but maybe I should due to the fact that when I go to Mediafire, there's just ads everywhere. It always pops up another menu or a window that asks me to download this software, this file, and this and this and this. The only thing I could recommend for you guys who are new to Mediafire is that if you're downloading the file, only download the one that you're going for. If there's a if there's a pop-up window that's asking you to download this, don't click on it. Just stay on the page or stay on the link that's that has been sent to you or anything like that. Just ignore all the other pop-ups. X them out if you have to. And once you're down downloading, exit out the whole thing so you don't have to see any more of those ads. Of course, if you do have ad blocker, I'm pretty sure that it's not going to bother you anyways. But for me or for anyone else who doesn't have ad blocker, it's really, really of a nuisance. And I completely forgot that I've already stored up my inventory with cobblestone. It's because I'm clearing out the skylight house number three, or was it number four? I believe it's number four. My god, it's been so long. Okay, let's see. Yep, it's going to be house number four. So I'm clearing that out, putting all the chests down here so that we'll have all resources. And then, yeah, it's going to be easier for all of us. Excuse me, just had a cough attack. Gosh. I talk so fast and I talk so much, it just pretty much makes my my mouth dry. That's the bad thing about commentary, I always have to drink water, otherwise then my mouth gets too dry, then I just start coughing and hacking all over the place. It's just so bad. And good thing that I could actually mute the in-game audio without fearing that my friends are talking, since none of my friends are online at the moment. They're all asleep, they're all tired, and yeah, I'm staying up so I could record the episode. So I am good to go. Mainly and lately I've been actually creating a lot of videos. I've been creating so much of the Call of Duty videos, so much of the Minecraft videos. Well, mainly PC. Not so much on the console just yet, but I'm going to be working on that once I get my operation. Yes, I'm going back to the broken record. I'm just so excited. Just five more days until I get my operation. And the only thing that I'm really going to hate, the more I think about it, is the more I'm going to hate it. Is that... The aftermath, or the recovery process. Once those pain medications wear off, I'm going to be feeling a great amount of pain. And you can only take so much of the pain medication a day, or prescription-wise, so that you don't get yourself killed over because of it. So once it's gone, and I can't take another one for about another two hours, or three hours, or however the description or prescription says to take, it's going to be major pain. I will film myself. I want 
I want to either show myself that I could get through this or show everyone that I'm just one... I'm, I don't know, what was it? One giant wimp. I'm just going to be a giant wimp throughout the whole th deal. Just as long as I don't cry. I really hope I won't cry. I don't remember the last time I actually had a good cry. But that's just a side topic. Slime? Gelatin? Go away, please. Go away. I do not need you to be here. Just go away. Okay, I think that's good for just messing around. <sighs> the only thing that I fear right now is that at any time, whenever the refrigerator, yes, I got, I was able to actually, I don't even remember if I even told you about this, but I was able to actually get the refrigerator from the other room all the way to my room. And the fact that the deal was is that my parents were not using it anymore. So I just say, hey, maybe I could actually get it. They asked if I wanted it and I said, sure, because literally it's been in the other room for years and they never actually really used it. I opened it up. I looked inside and I found out there were some stuff that were predated all the way to 2011. Yeah, I had to throw all of those away because it was not good. Although the sodas, I don't care if they're stale. They could taste, they taste a little bit good, I guess. Stale soda is not all that bad. It may not taste as great as, of course, fresh soda. It's just not all that bad. That's just my opinion. I've actually had a three-month-old soda, and yeah. It was stale, but it just tastes no different from if a soda has been opened, you know, like a bottle of soda that has been opened for about a good two or three hours. Nobody closed it up to preserve the carbonation. That's just a similar taste to it. I'm weird. Not going to lie. I have, I, have, I have a really weird childhood. Maybe I'll talk to you guys on that whenever I start back to vlogging and talking about random stuff or anything that else that comes to mind. Usually I keep forgetting. That's just my deal. I'm a forgetful person, but if anything else, what I want to talk about is, for a short moment, my brand new intro made by Jiwoon's Games. He created the intro, I've uploaded the intro, I showed everybody the intro, and I gotta say thank you so much for the positive support on the intro. Thank you guys for posting nice comments about it. Some of you actually provided feedback for it, but we are going to be changing the intro every now and then, because I have some ideas that we could add to the intro, but for now, what you guys saw on this video is the very first time I've actually used the intro, and likewise, it's going to be the very first time I will use the new intro. So, there you go. And for those who may wonder about the like, comment, and subscribing thing, I'm the type of person that doesn't say it verbally, but I do remind people like, hey, maybe you guys, if you like, you could always, you know, rate the video or comment on the description. Like, that's the very first line you will ever see. I'm just not the person who actually wants to verbally say it because I've always thought like, hey, if they want to do it, they will do it themselves. I don't need to be the person that reminds them. But that's the other half of the fence. Like, sometimes people need reminding. Some people forget to actually like the video or comment on the video or for those who are new, if they actually like the video, to actually subscribe so that they could actually see more of the videos. Again, I'm not the person who actually verbally does it, but everybody else does it. So if I started using it, does that mean I'll lose my integrity? I need to know legitimately, honest opinions. Would I actually lose some integrity if I start asking people to comment, rate, and subscribe? Since I've never done it to begin with, and if I start doing it now, I could see how people would see or would assume that I'm desperate. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine the way it is right now. I could always get some improvement, yes, but I'm fine just the way it is. It's just, I'm happy that I am making videos. I'm happy that people are actually taking the time to watch my videos. Even the trolls out there. I appreciate them taking the time out of their busy life and schedule and whatever important job that they have just to stop by a random person's video such as mine and just to comment on how much they hate me. Honestly, that's just feedback right there. All I can say is that sometimes I get a laugh out of it and I do actually answer back to them because for me, I think that Trolls can be reasoned with. Not all of the trolls, however, but some of them. I've actually talked to some people who are trolling me, and it turns out that they were just joking, haha, -ha, laugh, laugh, and I'm like, yeah, good joke. And some people who are actually legitimate, and I just tell them, why waste your time out of your life just to comment on my videos if you don't like me? Or obviously, they probably don't even like me. They just wanted to see a reaction out of me, and they got a reaction, but it's probably not the reaction that they're looking for. Because what a typical reaction would be, 
is that the person or the video maker himself actually lashes back at them with insult and all the, all the other stuff. But I'm just the type of person who just blatantly or bluntly, if however you want to call it, just answers back like they're just another human being. Sometimes I do make a little petty insult or somewhere along the lines of that, but it's just not that big of a deal. If they want to spend their time trolling me, I guess that these videos and myself in general, because I'm not going to stop making videos anytime soon, I pretty much serve a purpose for them to continue to make fun of me. I give them a reason to, obviously, and if it's just not me, it would just be someone else. It's just an endless cycle. Even then, they say that I'm wasting my time making videos, they're wasting their time trolling me online. They say I'm never going to make it out in life, neither will they if they continue to actually make troll comments on people's videos. Like honestly, everything that they say is just hypocrisy and just goes right, like, right back to them. It just doesn't make sense anymore. But hey, like I said, if that's how they want to spend their lives, who am I to question them? I live the life that I live my way and they'll live the life that they want their way. Just live and let live. Of course, with trolls, like, whatever. What do you guys think? I know I've asked you this in Operation Dome, if you guys actually paid attention to that, but what do you think about trolls in general? I know some people say that they're funny. Yes, I could see how it could be funny. But at the same time, if you try to go deeper in there, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, think I'm just overthinking these things. That's the problem that I have. I overthink things, and it causes me to have a little bit of insomnia episodes where I cannot sleep at night. So, I can never win at this point. I just gotta stop thinking about it, but at times, I just can't stop thinking about it. So let's move on from here. Again, brand new intro by G Wounds Gaming. Or sorry, G Wounds Games. I was, I'm sorry that I actually mispronounced her name. And I gave him a PC membership card so that he could go on PC and start playing PC Minecraft so everyone's happy. Yes, I am generous, and as well as that, I kept my word on actually paying the person who created the intro. But that doesn't mean I'm going to keep keep using that intro. But if I use this intro for every video, is that I'm going to I'm going to actually credit his channel in the description below, including the name of the artist and the song and his supporting company for and the well, in the description below as well by linking their channels and videos. So everyone wins. I get to use this song for the intro. He gets his channel named out there, and if people want him to make their intros, then there you go. It helps him, helps everybody else, helps the artist who made the music, helps the company. For the artist, everybody wins. But like I said, I'm not going to stick with one intro. If I could actually get another intro or something along the matters of an intro for another series, like Operation Bedrock or Operation Dome, or any other series I probably will have in the future, that would be great. Even thumbnails, for instance. I'm not that great at making thumbnails, as you guys probably see. I make the cheapest thumbnails that there is. But I do credit the people who create the thumbnails in the description below. Especially if it's a series, then that just means that your comment, or sorry, your channel will be shown in every video from then on forth if I use that thumbnail. Just like Reaver96 or Gaming Guidos. He is the one that actually created the, the thumbnail for Operation Dome and Operation Bedrock. So I use that for every episode from then on forth, and I credited his name in the description for every video that I upload. So again, thank you Reaver96 for the thumbnail. I know we haven't talked in a while, but I want to let you know that you are not forgotten, and if you want to talk to me, feel free to talk to me whenever I'm online and I'm in the Xbox party chat. Just feel free to talk to me. Lava! No thank you! I did not see that coming. There you go. So there's lava over here. Obviously, just it's just so pretty. So, so pretty. Ah, <sighs> well, what is there to do about this spot? I have no idea if you can actually hear the humming from the refrigerator. If Audacity actually gets rid of that, then Audacity is a great program. For those who don't know, I use Audacity for the live commentaries. I could possibly use the Hapog for the live commentary, but at the same time, if I do, I cannot edit the audio unless if I were to extract it and then of course use Audacity to get rid of the background noises. So why take those extra steps when I can already do everything with Audacity? Audacity is a free software that you could use to record live commentary. 
and commentary in general. And the great part about it, yeah, the great, the best part about it is that you could actually edit the commentary right then and there in the software, the same software you could use to record. And it could make a WAV file, which is pretty much the highest quality of file you could actually make. And it's very, very easy to do. If I ever get around to it, I'll be able to actually make a tutorial of how to get Audacity, how to use Audacity, and what you could do with Audacity. Just, honestly, there's a lot of things you could do. You could change the pitch of the commentary where you could sound high or low. I'm not going to show an example of that. And also, you could easily, again, remove the background noises, just like the humming from the refrigerator or the fan that's going on in the background. It could get rid of all that stuff. So it's very, very nice. It's absolutely free. And if you haven't downloaded it yet, you could still download it because the website's still up. Um, it's, again, it's amazing. I love the software. It's very, very, it's very awesome. I use it to actually record my PC gaming since with DX Tori, I cannot record my commentary, my live commentary, aside along with what's being recorded on the audio from the game itself. It just doesn't work. It puts it in all in one file, but since my commentary is the one that's actually above priority on, uh, yeah, above priority against the commentary or whatever is happening in a Skype call or the video game itself, it completely blocks it out. Honestly, it does. So, good thing I was able to actually figure out that, like, hey, you could just use Audacity and on the side while you're using DX Tori to work. I'm pretty sure you could actually download or buy a different channel for that, but you could use Audacity. Audacity is a very great alternative. Especially when you actually create a video and you hear all that background noise. You guys know what I mean, like, whenever you go on a Skype call and someone has a fan in the background, you could remove that fan. It just takes a little bit extra steps. So again, if I ever get around to creating the video on how to use Audacity, what you could do with Audacity, then it could help you create a little bit more professional type videos. Because without, without Audacity, you'll be hearing everything that goes on in the background. Like take for instance, I could actually use this as an example if you actually go to my RL channel, which is Mr. Sorkin 090 Gaming. Oh, look at me, I already gave it around, gave it out to the trolls. But hey, like I said, I do whatever I do for a hobby. I live the life that I live. They should live the way that they want to live. Of course, they want to spend their time trolling me. That's still fine. Who am I to tell them how to live their life? But anyways, on my older videos, you would hear the droning out of the camera itself. And more on my recent videos, my weekly vlogs, it would be that you could barely hear anything that's coming out of, uh, what's it called? Out of the background. Like, all that's gone now, mostly. I can never get rid of the car noises, but hey, at least I get rid of the droning sound for the camera itself. That's an accomplishment for me, and it's still a good example to use. And lava. Go away, lava. If only Audacity could get rid of you. Ah, well. I'm the type of person who likes to jump from one topic to another. I cannot stick with one topic. I'm pretty sure that you guys have already noticed this already. Unless it's just a video video actually dedicating to that one topic, such as answering people's questions. That's one of the other series that I need to bring back, which I will once I get my operation so I'll have more time to do so. Come on, go away lava. Go away. There you go. Go. That's a good lava. You went away. So, yeah. Again, if you guys want to join me on Pixelmon, it'll be envyblock.org. Why did I do that? Did I just not learn from this mistake? There you go. At least I know you exist. Alright, eat some pork chops. Eat some pork chops. It is good for me. Do you guys like pork chops? Honestly? Like, in real life, do you actually like pork chops? I find them good. Okay. Oh my god. Mistake. Mistake. More lava. Okay, over here. More lava. Okay. Over here. No lava! But apparently we've been here before. Oh, I remember this. Steve was helping- Oh my god! Oh hey! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Come on! Come on! Fight to the death! Fight to the death! That's a good spider! You're awesome! Oh, look at you! You're so cool looking too! Look at that! That is so cool! Oh god! No! No! Bad spider! My gosh, why is it that every time when they actually go into the darkness, they actually start being evil again? 
Oh, hello, Creeper. I love you. Oh, God. No! Oof. That would be bad. Especially when this is not my tunnel. This is Diamond Noodle's tunnel. He's been making a tunnel going from one way all the way to the other way just because he was bored and wanted to do some mining. So at least he was helping me out in that aspect. But right now, I gotta light this up because there are way too many mobs. And I guess that this is where their trail end because of the lob. Oh my god, where did you appear? Get out of here! Okay, that's good. That's good enough. Where are my torches? Oh my god, I ran out of torches. This is bad. I need to get more torches. Yep. At least I'll be, at least I have some torches at skylight number five, and as well as these tunnels. Just look at all of these chests. Look at how many torches we placed down. And here's a deal for those who are new to the channel, that we are working on the last three layers of the world. We are working in quadrants. And for this quadrant, we're going to leave all the resources alone so that we can show you how much you could find in under the last three layers of the world. Just look at all this. Look at the diamonds, the redstone, the butter, or gold if you want to call it that. I, like, I just like butter because it's a funny word to me. And also looks like butter. Like butterscotch right there, especially in the candy texture pack. The coal, the iron... Lapis Azuli somewhere around here because I can never find it. It's it's pretty rare, honestly. Lapis Azuli is more rare than gold. Look at that. Look at that. One, two, three. Look at that. I cannot even find Lapis Azuli. I know it's somewhere around here, but anyways, you get the idea. It's just all the resources around here. You could find so much in the last three layers of the world. So if you're on a PC Minecraft, all you have to do is just go down to the last like 10 layers and then you'll find a lot of resources that's just a helpful tip for those who are new to minecraft and want to know how to find diamonds because if you look at any of the diamond videos like how to find diamonds they get hundreds and thousands of views but simply we find it all over the place it just reminds me when minecraft on xbox 360 came out and within the first week or first month actually we found slime i posted a video about it and a lot of people commented like how did you find this i'm like all you have to do is just dig big tunnels and they'll just appear out of nowhere. It actually became sort of viral for about a good few days. It, really, it reached up to 85,000 views and it helped the fact that Rooster Teeth created a video and somehow my video was in the recommended page and that's how people found out about my video. So without Rooster Teeth, I would have never been partnered. So I thank you for that. For those who don't know. But either way... And also, the guy who messaged me, that is... What's his name? I could look up on Twitter. I don't remember his... Well, his environment skate, but... His Twitter... There you go, that random tree 7 He joined us in a live stream on... Ghost, and as well as Black Ops 2. He's a good guy. He supports me, and he messages me, and I message him back. We just have a little bit of small conversation. So, for those who wanted to know about my live stream is that it's going to be SwordKing090. It's on Twitch. So there you go. Twitch.tv slash SwordKing090. SwordKing090 Gaming will be the backup. So if SwordKing090 goes down, or if I want to do something on SwordKing090 Gaming, I have both the accounts. So if you want to see me live stream, you can go ahead and see me live stream. One thing I have to say, though, is that I think so far on the console live streaming, the quality may not be so great. Some people say it was good, it was fine, but I could say for a fact that PC live streaming is a lot easier since, of course, it's directly from the computer rather than going to a third party, which would be the Hapog H HD PVR 2 Gaming Edition. Not sponsored, by the way. Although it would be interesting to be sponsored by them, but I've already had the product, so I don't know what sponsorship would do for me. But either way... Just simply put it, is that since I'm using third party software or third party hardware actually to record the console live stream, it's not going to be that great quality unless I actually buy myself a different router and a different line, connect both my computer and the Xbox 360 directly to that router, and probably it'll be better quality. But for now, I'll probably will do a lot more PC live streaming rather than Xbox 360 live stream. Just saying. But let's see how well everything goes. So again, if you want to follow me on Twitch, it is SorkeyN090 on Twitch. And then of course, SorkeyN090 Gaming would be the backup. Anyhow. 
Just five more days. I'm gonna probably, I may or may not stay over there on the other city for about a while. Probably do some vlogging over there while I am experiencing great pain and just sharing you guys my experience. Again, I'm gonna try to talk to the doctor, see if we could actually get the operation filmed. Like, probably have it on a tripod in a corner somewhere. It may not be the best shot, but it's still better than nothing. I still want to see it. I don't even care if the doctors are covering it up. Just the fact that I could, par like I could actually partially see it, that would be nice. If one of the nurses could actually film, that would be great too. And if a f nurse refuses to film, I'll be like, hey, I'll pay you $50 just to film it. It would be one of the easiest $50 you have ever made just by standing with a camera and just looking at me. That's all it is. <sighs> either way. Just either way. I don't even know anymore. Just I want to get it filmed. I at least want to get the bone spur in a jar and have myself hold it right in front of the camera. Like, show my scar, my arm that has a scar on it. Since I'll be on pain medication, a little bit loopy, I'll probably be fine and somewhat sober. Just hold it up, have a little bit of a selfie, and post it up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, just whatever. Since they're going to be taking that back, and they're going to be breaking it down and examining it to see if it's actually cancer, so that there is no liability issue. Because they cannot say that it is not cancerous. Because if it comes back that it was cancerous, it's going to go bad for them. I probably, I probably wouldn't do anything, however, but hey. They just want to be sure, to be safe. Their reputation's on the line. I could understand that. I ramble on too much. But hey, that's what a commentary is. For those who don't do commentaries, then if you actually try to do a 30-minute commentary, it is tough. Ah, look at that. It is tough. Again, that's why I like to do group commentaries where I could actually keep up with conversation with another person. He could have fun. That they're making... They're saying something. Oh, look, look, look at that. There's Lapis Lazuli right there. So, it, yeah, it just everyone has fun just talking. Just talking. Oh, no, I am out of room. Wait, wait, wait. Go away, Flint. I don't need Flint. And now we got all these chocolate stones. Next week is gonna be the Halo Mashup Pack. Yep, Mashup Pack. I was about to say Texture Pack, but either way, Mashup Pack, Texture Pack, it's the same deal. There we go. Is there a question of the day that I want to ask you guys? I'm trying to think of one. I honestly can't right now. If anything else, one of the things I'm going to do once the three months are here where I am off of work, I'm going to be working on more of my Let's Plays, I'm going to be working on more of the old series, I'm going to be working on Operation Dome and Operation Bedrock a lot more, I'll be able to have more time to work out, and oh yeah, I forgot, I won't be able to work out for a good three to four weeks. I could possibly be doing jump squats or walking and running. Maybe do some crunches or what's it called? Yeah, reverse crunches, ab lifts, or however you want to call it. I'll be able to actually work on those. But for the upper body, I won't be able to work on that. So, hmm. That's going to be weird. I'm going to have to show you guys what my progress so far on working out. And if you guys are not working out, then I recommend you guys work out. Just saying. Because if I'm working out and you guys are working out, we can motivate each other. We all could be happy to work out. And you won't be alone in working out. So I'm going to continue working out. And hopefully if you want to start working out, go ahead and do it. You're going to have, you're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to be healthier. You're going to be more energetic. You're just going to be all the better of the health. So... <sighs> this is the part where I'm trying to figure out whether or not if I reach that 30 minute mark. Because I did mess up in the beginning. I messed up like, I this was like literally take four. Because I messed up the beginning so badly. I'm the type of person that stutters on my word or have a speech impediment. As you heard earlier where I'm stumbling upon some of the words. <sighs> I can't do anything about that. Unless I can, but I don't know. Read a script. Who does that anyways? But anything else, I just can't wait to get Operation Dome completed as well as Operation Bedrock because I know I'm going to finish Operation Dome a lot faster than Operation Bedrock. And since the summer is going to be here where I'm going to have more time to do it, if I could actually probably dedicate like around six hours into working on Operation Bedrock, 
it's gonna make a huge difference. And since when I'm gonna have more time off, and my friends are gonna have more time off, then I could possibly open up this world for people to join me. I already have a list of people who could possibly join me based on the fact that they talked to me, we talked to each other, we played some video games, like X Lizard Man, and as well as Environment Skate. They've joined me on the Call of Duty matches, they're cool people, and they, they're really cool. There's nothing else I could say. And hopefully all my old, my old, eh, see, stutterment, peach and, speech impediment, I even, I even messed up on that. Oh well, just... With Sitaru and Steve, hopefully, and also all of my other friends, I really hope that they can join back since it's going to be like a one big happy reunion. So, this is it. That's all for now. This is Skylight. Oh yeah, I forgot I need to do the two year anniversary of Operation Better. I keep forgetting people. Like I said, I am very, very forgetful. And also, I need to do the update on my leaderboards. So I need, I need to do a lot of work. I need to do a lot of work with the videos. And now you guys are going to hear the intro or see the intro on, the, on this video for the very first time. So what a great way to end this video. So with that being said, I'm SorrowKing090. Wait, question of the day? Hmm. Have you guys have any operations done on you? Any surgeries, operations? If it's too personal, you don't need to answer. But if you guys had any operations in the past, let us know in the comment section below. Okay. Now, with the intro, have a great day, everyone. I'm SirKinZero, and as always, we will see you in the next video.